The next thing you want to do is the uh, sucker rod, which goes all the way from the handle all the way down to the very bottom of the well, which is where the pumping action takes place. You need to remove these. So what you want to do is grab hold of the wrench that's supporting them and lift it straight up. And you may have to pull up a little bit uh, to get it started. Then have your uh, person working with you grab hold of the sucker rod with both hands. Slide the wrench out and lay it on the ground so it doesn't fall. Safety is real important because you don't want that wrench just to hang up there. So you always want to you always want to make sure that you've got several hands on these as you're pulling them up because the last thing you want to do is drop this back down the well. So go ahead and do a hand over hand and raise this up and you will see the first juncture where the two sucker rods come together. This is kind of a unique attachment. So what you do is you just hold support the bottom sucker rod bend it over and then it just pulls down and slides out. You lay that one, hand that to someone or lay it down uh, because we will use these uh, in just a little bit. You repeat this process for as many uh, sucker rods as there are and there may be anywhere from 5 to 15 of these depending upon the depth of the well. Now, Lynn, tell us about this little rubber device on the end of the sucker rod. The little rubber device there actually serves two purposes. Uh, it keeps the sucker rod centered in your rising main and keeps it from rubbing against the side. Also, when you connect the sucker rods together, you can pull that down so that it locks the two together. So it's really kind of a dual purpose. Some of these are missing. That does not really keep the pump from functioning well, but if you've got them, it's a good idea to replace them as you're working on the pump. So you just repeat the same process over and over again until you come to the bottom sucker rod. This sucker rod is the last one. It looks like the same on the top, but on the bottom, is your first check valve. There are two check valves in this pump. There's an upper check valve and a lower check valve. They look very similar. Uh, each of the check valves has a little rubber stopper in it and you want to make sure that one, that it is there and hasn't been lost. You want to inspect it for cracks or nicks and uh, you want to make sure that it will freely move within the plastic portion. So you can just take your finger and move it back and forth and see that it freely moves. Also, there's a soft uh, cup seal on the outside. There are two grooves in the check valves. The upper check valve has a cup seal in the upper groove. When we look at the other check valve, you, we will see an O-ring in the bottom groove. Uh, of that one. Okay, you've removed the top check valve and what you need now is to remove the bottom check valve and this is the other tool that comes uh, with the AfroDiv pump. It's kind of a specialty tool and it's called the check valve removal tool. It has a little hook in it that mates with a loop that's on the top of the bottom check valve. So what you do is you insert this with the hook in going down and make sure that you have both people holding on to this so that you don't have the opportunity to drop it. So you put this down in the rising main and you slowly lower it. And when you get to as far down as you go, you pick up the uh, sucker rods that you have just removed, reinstall those just like uh, reversing the process and uh, lower this down uh, until you reach uh, the bottom check valve. The removal tool is longer than the uh, bottom uh, sucker rod that had the top check valve on it. So you, this will allow you to reach all the way to the very bottom and uh, remove that tool. So as you put the pieces together and slowly lower them, you will come in contact with the loop that is on the top of the bottom check valve. 
it may not line up exactly right when you first go down, so you may need to rotate the sucker rods a little bit until you feel it drop uh, into the loop and you can capture that loop. So as you put the last sucker rod on, lo slowly lower it until you feel it come into contact with that lower check valve. Then you may need to kind of rotate it a little bit and then you can lift up on it and you will know that you have caught that. So you have to kind of pop it up and, and pull it up and then you do the same process before. Both people putting their hands on, you bring it all the way up until you clear the cylinder. You put the, uh, then you just remove the sucker rods one piece at a time, being sure to always hold on to the sucker rods because you don't want to drop those down the well. So a hand over hand process, you bring them all the way up until you have removed all of the sucker rods. And again, there may be five or six, or there may be 15 or 20 sucker rods, depending upon the depth of the well. And as you remove the last sucker rod, now you have, uh, you're with your retrieval tool. You bring your retrieval tool all the way back out, and then bring it over and away from the top of the well, and there is your bottom check valve.